numbers if Virginia hurries. And there you go. It developed slowly, but Miner came free underneath. And Dante Harris found him. He just Watch this ball screen. A little back trouble here, Justin. Freeze the defense, create some space, give Miner a chance to roll. That is just a big time play. You see everyone on Virginia is lifted above the free throw line, so there's no backside help on the roll. You've got to run Virginia off the three point line because at times they can be offensively challenged. Look for Virginia Tech to really extend on in, and that's where you're going to get. Scrambling out of it by Virginia Tech. Eight to shoot. Beekman pulls the trigger. 19-13, Virginia. Step side, knock down at three. This is just hand down, man down. Good rhythm. Because they do know how to play. They do embrace roles. They do know how to use screens. They do know how to defend. Uh, to me, the most underappreciated move. Found by Barron, the Hoos. In control as McNeely starting to heat up. You're a JPJ. And that's one of those shots I'm not sure that Mike Young wants to move the defense a little bit more than that. Yet he's played so well. Great cut. Once again, curl cut off the back. Poti tries to get rid of the ball. Here's Padula on the switch. He lost it. Numbers for Virginia. Beekman to the rim and done. Hammers it home. And connected. Watch 22 here. They blow up the dribble handoff. And Miner steps out, gets a hand in the deflection. And then Reese Beekman and Ryan Dunn do the last. A proper tribute to a, a, a great man. Harris off the bounce. He continues to contribute in different ways in his first game back after missing 10. And the work they were doing with him. But I'm not even sure he saw this. Although he did say they had really good practice. Great play. The Dunn block. Here comes Rody giving it to Dunn. 